Well, let's see, have I beat this thing up enough? I've carried this for a while. I've had this for a few weeks. Um, you know, so I'm a little slow getting it to my channel. But you know, I, I don't just get a knife in the mail, run into the studio and, you know, do things. I want to spend some time with the knife and get a feel for it, see how I like it, carry it a few times here and there maybe even disassemble it. Most of them I don't. Most of them I disassemble right on uh, the video because I want people to kind of get that experience of what it's like to take it apart when it's from the factory. This is a different knife, isn't it? Tigered, T-I-G-I-R-D. Okay, they've got a website called Tigered EDC. Now, I just printed this one page out but tigerededc.com. This is their Zero knife. It's TC21 titanium as opposed to TC4 titanium. Um, this is a $360 integral knife with Bowler M390 blade. And I have not sent this in to have it PMI'd, but I will. I'm gonna have it the composition analysis done to confirm that it's Bowler M390. If I had to put money on it right now, I'd say it's Bowler M390 just because, I mean, you know, I, I haven't found many people lying about that recently. Here's your stats. Oh, by the way, they take PayPal. Um, and I'll give you the link to his, like, his Instagram, his Facebook, his, you know, and his site, all that kind of stuff down below. But here's the stats on it. And he was... Uh, messaging me about the TC21 being a harder, a, a, you know, higher HRC number than the regular TC4 titanium uh, ceramic bearings and all that double row. And, uh, you know, I got some accessories with this knife, which uh, kind of scares me a little bit about thinking about taking this apart because, check this out. Okay, I got this extra hardware, but look at those little ceramic bearings. Yikes, you think? You think they're not captured? But I am gonna take it apart. Come hell or high water, I'm gonna take it apart. And then you get a little, uh, and I think I pulled this apart earlier, and then it stuck right back together, didn't it? Wow, oh, I guess I'm ripping it up. Oh, well, I don't care. Um, but it's probably a microfiber cloth, I'm guessing, in here. Well, I did tear it to crap. Either that or a pouch. It's just rounded off on these. Nah, it's a microfiber cloth. Okay. So, yeah. So, you get that. But, I mean, this is an unknown brand, isn't it? So, that makes it kind of fun and then kind of wondering, like, how does an unknown brand come out and just say, hey, I want $360 for a knife, you think, ooh, man, you might be like stepping hard on that one. Um, oh, here's the other. I'm sorry. No, that's it. Ugh. Okay. Somehow I got two of these. Okay. Very strange, huh? I know I opened one earlier, and so now I got two. Hmm. Odd. Plastic. Extra parts. Okay. And so uh, this pouch is round because it is cram full of goodies. I don't even have the knife in there yet. But this knife is interesting because... Uh, of the TC21 Plus, well, it's an integral, as you can see. It says zero here. We'll get some stats here because it looks like it widens out here. Uh, but the detent ball, it gets over the detent very quickly, okay? And he was saying the forward positioning of the ball is unique for this knife uh, probably increases the fidget factor quite a bit and if you look at the back of this knife take a look at it okay so here's where they put in the hardened steel insert 
because it's an integral obviously you don't have it open where you can put it on the inside but look at this pivot area this is how we're going to open this knife up and so i don't know how what that's going to look like when we do okay you can see here he says m390 steel it's got a real stone washy uh frame to it very stone washy type of blade and will it cut anything okay yeah pretty smooth there how much does it weigh I think it's basically a three and three quarter inch blade so we'll measure it up here 144 grams that's not bad considering the size of the knife and it's integrity yeah 5.1 yeah 5.1 ounces that's that's not too shabby is it over there okay check out this fuller coming through here and how it runs right up through the top there now it does give you an area where you can put your finger behind here and kick it open and that's what i like to do other than the flipper tab which is jimped and not too big it's decent and it's pretty intuitive here pivot nothing to uh, write home about it's very muted isn't it so they're kind of just focusing on the total flow of the knife and not trying to interfere with that with the pivot right over like that now I'll middle finger flick it from behind but I don't find it easy to open thumb wise because I'm, I'm stepping on that lock bar okay so I can open it like that but I don't really thumb flick it I think if you work on your technique and keep your fingers away from the lock bar then I think you could learn to do that but it's not near as much fun as this is okay uh, you got a little choil here uh, should be pretty straightforward to sharpening the blade and you know I'll probably get this one Rockwell tested if I got a flat spot I can really do that maybe here uh, that's not gonna be easy to find maybe right here would be a place where they could do that but yeah I think I'll check that um, the flow of the design is good here it disappears here disappears into the bolster uh you know blade handle length looks just fine just fine which begs of course the question what's the blade length well i think it's three and three quarter well you got three and three quarter cutting edge and then of course the bolster sweeps up so dramatically that it's four inches down here and it's about 3.65 here at about 93 or 94 but down here it's about almost 100 uh, millimeters to the middle of that choil and a full 95 millimeter cutting edge eight and three eighths overall length as far as inches and then 21 a little over 21 centimeters now let's this might be the interesting part here so let's see if we can kind of measure front to back a little bit and let me get this on here 0 0.59 0.54 back here 0.56 wow it looks like a bigger change than that 14.5 and I'm back here I'm not on anything okay 14.4 13.8 and let me get right up on just the front part here and 14.9 what am I sitting on not on the pivot 14.9.58 very very strange 0.54 and and hold on and 0.56 how strange so really 
as far as the width here along the center line, it's pretty consistent. Uh, but doesn't it look like it widens out? And I think it's obviously this machining here going across here, opening it up and giving the full uh, effect back here. You're not seeing from the top here. And you've got this open area here. Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of gives you a little landing zone for your finger when you kick this open. Can I fail it? Oh, man, no. I didn't fail it that time. I was just trying to figure out. Oh, no. Wow, it lets go pretty quick, though, but it's so smooth. Whew. Okay. No, wow. Lazy flip gets it open. Let me see if I can do this. No, I'm kind of surprised I couldn't. Try and get away from that lock bar. Use the pocket clip. Okay, I can do that. Um, wow. Uh, it just doesn't feel like the detent is all that intense, and it's not. But for some reason... Uh, it just, oh man, that just ticks away and, and really it's very strange how that feels. Very different. Um, the drop is really nice. And I think that there's, I don't know what's going on with that detent ball, but right there you're over and it just follows you around pretty much. And you don't have to worry because that, that flipper tab, it's going to come give you a little tap saying, okay, we're done. And you can get your thumb out of the way. Wow. Yeah. Pretty interesting. Oh, look at his site. I mean, he's, he's got different types of products in there, EDC products, not just knives. Uh, so, huh? now you may think about this since this fuller comes out here this tip here is not dull it is rather sharp ish even though it's stone washed and stuff it still comes out to a fairly narrow edge there now the good part is it's easy to catch with your finger the bad part is you don't want to just jam your thumb or your finger running forward into there because it's going, you know, impact with that. But that's just one of those things you got to be aware of with the way this fuller came out the top like here. I don't know if I could even get enough. Yeah, I can get enough blade just on the side of the blade to middle finger flick it like that. That's because that detent's not that horribly strong yet. It's strong enough to get the job done. And even if you sit down on that detent ball, just a little, just a little nudge, and it and it and it goes right over. Um, so that blade does not hang up on that detent ball. Fascinating. So let's talk about the ergos. Let's look through here. Ergos. Ergos. Um, you know, so everything kind of gets in the boat on these three. And number four is back up on the, on the front of the boat. But not bad. I mean, you know, um, no, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. You've got machined um, pocket clips on titanium and knives and I don't care what you do with them they don't disappear okay after a while you're gonna feel it because it's there and there she is so yeah I mean you're gonna feel it after a while you know enough time and and cutting you're, you're gonna feel it now this one here take a look hear that so I mean, it's, it's, it's relatively springy. Actually, it does slide in my pocket pretty well. So I'm not having issues with it. 
but it, you know, yeah. Not all titanium pocket clips are that flexible. Interesting, huh? Kind of maybe the happy median between uh, getting a, you know, just a steel pocket clip and a titanium one. And, you know, relatively deep carry, not terribly, but it's, it's backed right up to here. So you're all in right there. And you can tell there's no lanyard hole. Mm, don't know if you want one with this knife. I don't know. But apparently there's not one. So, I mean, that decision is already made for you. Well, we don't have to worry about a bunch of body screws or anything, do we? Because we ain't taking this apart because of that. So all we can do is see if we can open up this area here. And it's opening up. So it'll be interesting to lift up that little area and see what's underneath. Oh, yeah, that's how we did it. We just popped the, the blade uh, over travel down. Yikes. Okay. So there's our washer with our titanium little area here. Popping it open. Take a look at our pivot. And uh, LTK, he may be stupid, but he's not dumb. We're not going to turn this upside down because all these will fall out. Because these are definitely not captured. And there's, uh, there's your stop right here. So they're throwing the blade stop right there. And then these are all your little bearings in there. So that's how they did that pivot. And I guess you pull it out from the other side. And uh, I've been involved in enough insanity. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to maybe add a drop or two. Of liquid to the mix and uh, close the patient back up because yeah interesting though yeah okay multi-row bearings on both sides and then you've got of course a steel washer and then you got this little puppy dog right here how did that pop out like that yeah and uh yeah i oh yeah there you go but yeah you want to pop it out i guess you can pull on this on this lock bar and push pop that little tip out and do that but uh i've been in battles before and i don't want to get into that battle so i'm not going to tear the entire pivot apart I don't really see a point I just wanted to take a look and see if we did have multi-row bearings and if it ever needed to be cleaned how would you pop this little cover plate off and now I know so I know enough and that's all I need to know let me see do I have any play mm, a little bit hold on let me make sure I got this snugged there we go that's better Pretty tight, oh, pretty tight tolerances on this. Pretty tight tolerances, but oh yeah, the action's nice. This might be fun to anodize. The problem is you got to take the pivot out of there and this hardened steel insert. This shouldn't be a problem. This might be more time-consuming actually to do. But. Uh, Otherwise, you can do some interesting things, maybe 
bronze in here and green out here or, you know, something, you know, interesting. T-I, G-I-R-D. We're back with the tie guard or tie guard, whatever it is. But this knife is a very interesting, integral, multi-row bearings, very smooth, quick over the detent, uh, finger flickable, just a very nice design flow, but a different kind of look, isn't it? Different styling. Looks very, yeah, yeah, very industrial with all the heavy stone wash, but uh, great, nice stuff. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to have it rock well, and I'm going to have the PMI analysis done. And it'll be back on a batch, maybe batch 39, batch 40, somewhere in there uh, being reported on. But yeah, very, very cool. All right, I'm going to leave you to it, friends. You know what we do. We love them knives. So you guys stay sharp.